hello guys welcome back to another video um today i'm about to do a consumer unit swap over uh in one of the property i've actually done um several other jobs in here done a few spotlights in the um bedrooms and so on anyway so today i'm about to do a consumer unit swap over and um it's one of the old consumer unit i think it was installed um 1994 the old plastic ones it doesn't have the rcd protection and nothing it's just a basic um one and in the past i think they had several other problems with it as well so um anyway the owner wants to uh, upgrade the consumer unit and he's happy to go with the 18th edition with the spd so uh, what i'll do is um, i'll show you what we're doing so far and this is the consumer unit i'll be putting in today um i said it's a bg um nine way consumer unit with a dual rcd and it's also got the SPD here as well. So you got the uh, RCD on that side, RCD on that side, and also SPD, which is on a 32 um, ampere. And this is the old consumer unit. I say there's a label here saying it was um, installed 1994. So it's a quite old one. Um, anyway, so I'll be upgrading the meter tails as well, and also the F cable the fuse actually if you in the back of this wall outside so um, I've got to go in there um, isolator and um, so this is a um, six way sorry eight way and there's a one spare here so when I put the nine way he'll have two spare so I'll be taking this apart soon and also uh, on this side we've got 13 ounce fuse spare which is feed for the outside um, on a timer, outside lights and it's on an armored cable, the fuse going out there's also uh, there's an RCD here which is um, controlled I don't know how this is wired in, um, it's a bit weird because it actually comes in to the 13 ounce fuse and from there goes into there and then it's a big mess here and the RCD won't go on so I'll have to take the whole thing out and uh, find where the fault is and fix up the mess here so instead of the timer uh, what we've decided we're going to go with the uh, sensor so it'll be a photo cell sensor uh, in the dark it just comes on all the lights outside so we'll be looking at this after I've installed this so guys um, I'll start taking this all apart um, I'll start labeling all the wires and then take this uh, off and then um, I've got the box ready so far I've knocked the holes out so this is what we've done um, took the knock that out and also the top where the wires are gonna come in so I'm just gonna get cracking and um, hopefully uh, as I'm doing it I'll share a um, few clips with you guys thank you so what we've done so far is um, I've actually took the old consumer unit out I've also took the uh, old meter tails out as well and replacing it with a new 16 mil and also the F um, and these are the cables that I've just um, took them out I've actually um, labeled some of them but some of them I already know what um, which ones what also they're all marked anyway so I know exactly which is what so um, these are the uh, incoming um, uh, the meter tails uh, from outside as I said um, so I had to fed them through the hole and bring it in and this is the box I've just got ready so I've got like a grommet here and also one here as well and one at the side and also um, this is the the back of the box which is um, I put this in for extra protection so what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna put this in over here and um, try and uh, fit the cables um, through here well it might be a struggle so I might have to probably open another one here um, put some through there as well, well let's see how it um, goes
Hello guys, so I've just managed to finish off the um, wiring so it's on, gone nice and neatly now um, so what I'm going to do, I've put the meter tails in so I'm just going to go in the back and um, connect the uh, the meter tail to the isolated outside and once I've done that I'm going to be testing and hopefully have the electric back on so I think it's uh, more or less about two hours it took me to get this in including taking the old one and the fitting the new one so i'll do all my testing once the power's on hello everyone um so i've managed to get the box in and i've just tested it all but i had a bit of a problem with the uh, ring main which is this one here so i'll say this is the old box was so old i uh, could detect any fault but with this one uh, after i installed it this wouldn't come on so I had to go right around the house and try and find where the fault was. Um, so luckily, uh, what we found was um, just, because we're in the garage, so this is the garage and that's where the consumer unit is. And um, we managed to find the fault just by the, under the stairs. And I think in the past, um, what's happened was, whoever's wired this um, socket in, they've done it live and neutral reversed and also the the neutrals actually not put in properly i don't know whether you can see it but this is what happens i mean uh when you have the old box it doesn't really detect it with the new rcds um it's very sensitive and slight problem like this we just um, find it and keep tripping so what we're going to do now um, is uh, open the socket and we're going to uh, change the wires over should it, the way it should be and hopefully it should be okay. Hello guys, uh, I've just managed to finish off um, the whole thing. So there was a few lights outside which I finished off and um, so anyway this is where the uh, consumer units and um, I managed to finish it all off it's all been tested, everything's working the wire's been clipped in and also this has been put in properly now